video is going to be a little bit longer than my normal videos, but should be super informative. let you know along the way so this video should be very informative it should be able to answer all of your questions but if I miss something or there's something that you need to know leave a question below and I will definitely answer that to the best of my abilities please note that I'm not a professional hairstylist I'm not trained in any way I've just been doing it for years and through that I've learned a lot along the way and here we are so, as you can see for where we're starting at, my hair is super, super light. I've also been growing out my roots for probably a couple of months now. It's, it's, I've been giving it a break, and it, a well-needed break. Um, I used to bleach it and all and do chemical processes all the time, and now that it's had a nice break, I think that it can handle more bleach. It was inevitable, it's gonna happen, so. It's very light, but also we're going to be focusing on this. Now, I'm fully aware that through a bleach bath, I will be lightening the entire thing. I feel like it's the best method instead of doing direct bleach for me to just lighten everything all at once in one swift go. I feel like it's a lot easier of a process than regular bleach for those of you who have not done bleach before. We're going to go over the mixtures and everything in detail. Um, it will lighten my roots, but I fully, no, okay. Virgin hair, AKA where my roots are or your roots are, will lighten faster than any previously lightened hair. Um, so it will lighten, but I fully expect to have some yellow tint to it. So this will probably be different than the rest of my hair. And that's fine, I fully expect it. I'm coloring over it, over it anyway, so I'm not super concerned about it. But anyways, let's get into what we are using, our products, and how to do our mixtures and what we're doing. All right, now I normally do an in-depth, like in-your-face mixture. I'm just gonna show you. Um, and another reason why I am doing a bleach bath is because I don't have a lot of bleach left. This is all I have. Now I get the big boxes, the big things of it, because I use it a lot normally. Um, I guess there's a good amount left in that, but I do have a lot of hair. So we're gonna um, use a couple of scoops of the BW2 lightning powder. And then for me personally, I'm going to use, not 20, we're not using that one. We're gonna use a 30 volume for me. Now what you do to start off with a bleach bath in general, I'm just first of all, you just mix your bleach like you normally would. We'll go over that in a second. But also, in my previous video, I used coconut oil. Uh, and I put that on and let that set in my hair for about an hour before I actually do the bleach bath. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, that doesn't do anything. It doesn't protect your hair. It doesn't help you. It does take longer for the bleach to penetrate through the coconut oil. But to me, it creates a protective layer. So that is, and, it, and it, I feel like it makes your hair feel softer after. I feel like it protects it better and it makes it feel really nice afterwards and not dry at all. So that is definitely an option if you choose to do that. So you can put coconut oil or any kind of oil. You can use olive oil or, um, I think those are the two main ones. <laughs> but, but yeah, so you can put other kind of oils on your hair. And the other thing is before you do this, um, make sure that you try to go a few days or so without washing your hair because you do want a lot of your own oils to be in there because that also will help provide a layer of protection for your hair um, as opposed to freshly washed hair with no oils in it. So the oils are definitely a good thing to have before you do a bleach bath, okay? 
So not on freshly washed hair, coconut oil or some kind of oil is optional. Okay, so let's get into this. We're gonna do a few scoops of this. And for here, we're, you really wanna look at the consistency. That's what we're looking for. There's not an exact measurement uh, ratio that I do. I think it, it, it's, normally I think it's like two to one ratio. Um, but I'm not a professional, like I said, and I just kinda do it by eye. So you'll see. All right, so I went ahead and put about two scoops in here, and because it is gonna be heavily diluted with the shampoo, um, we don't need but so much anyway. I keep grabbing the 20 volume, what the crap? We're gonna use the 30 today. And that is another thing, tip number two or three, it's optional, depending on the health of your hair. If it is super healthy, it's super strong, it can handle it, you think you can handle it, it hasn't been bleached or chemically processed recently, then yeah, it can handle 30, it should be able to handle 30 just fine. Now, if you have damaged hair, it's very dry, you've already tried another process to try and get the color out of your hair, no matter what color it is. You've already tried it recently, that didn't work, and now you're trying a bleach bath. If you've already done that stuff to your hair, go ahead and try a 20 volume. They will both work basically the same. You just might have to wait a little bit longer for the 20 to do the lifting, um, but it's not as damaging on your hair as a 30 would be. So keep that in mind. All hair is different and we everyone's hair is different. Like how you take care of it. Is it, is it coarse? Is it soft? Is it thin? Is it thick? Like, it's all different. So you really gotta do according to what your hair type is and the health of your own hair. So, with that being said, we're gonna just dump some of the 30. And I just dump it in there. And then I mix it, and then depending how thick or thin it is, I can add more of the bleach powder, or I can add more of the developer. And I usually start out with just a little bit of um, the developer at a time. It is a cream peroxide developer. Um, and then it's the Salon Care brand. I do get all of my products from Sally's, but I am not sponsored in any way, Sally's. I think this video is gonna be a little bit longer than my normal videos, but should be super informative. I try not to, to What's the word I'm looking for? Blabber? Oh, it smells. I try not to blabber on uh, needlessly unless it's important. So this is the consistency of our bleach. So it's you can call it pudding, cool whip, kind of thick, thin, and I do make mine a little bit thinner than what you're supposed to. That's just again my preference. So now that we have our bleach mixture, okay? And this is my, a main question that I get on my other bleach bath video is, how much shampoo do you put in the mixture? The shampoo, again, will vary depending on the health of your hair. So, you can, if it is super damaged, you can use the 20, or, or I mean, you, let's say you're using the 20 volume, right? If it's more damaged, you can put more shampoo. If it can handle it, then put less shampoo that will make it more diluted or not as diluted. So you can also control the strength of the mixture by how much shampoo you put in it. So if you wanted a less, not as strong kind of mixture, you could do half and half. Um, I would say one part, generally it's one part shampoo to the amount of bleach mixture you have, if that makes any sense. When I'm fading my hair, I use clarifying shampoo because it fades it. It does take the color out. Oh. But it is drying. It removes all of the oils. It removes everything, the color and everything from your hair. So the most important step after you do this is to use a, either a really good conditioner or you can buy packets at basically any store. You can get little hair mask packets or some kind of a deep conditioner bottle or something to leave on after. And I think that's the most important step is to really 
do a deep condition after you do any type of bleach or chemical process to your hair. And then let that set for as long as possible and then rinse that out. So this is our mixture. It made it a little bit thicker and slimier. I guess it's like stringy, I don't know. Um, all right, so that is the bleach bath. Regular bleach mixed with shampoo. And again, depending how strong you want the mixture to be and the strength of your hair as to how much you add. So I just, I did two squirts of it. Um, it's probably close to about half and half, probably a little less than that. Um, I think this will do good for what I need because really, as you can see, the bottom of my hair doesn't need that much. I think it will lift very well. It's really the top part and there's not even a whole lot of color left. It's mostly just roots and a little bit of color. So for me personally, this is what works. So for you, do what works best for you. All right, so next step is to put on a crappy t-shirt and gloves before we do anything to our hair. All right, so now that we have our gloves on, what I normally do is I start underneath. Um, I like to do layer by layer. And I use my handy dandy mirror to see the back because it, it works. Also, another little question and comment that I get a lot, you're supposed to do your roots last. The whole reason for your roots being done last is because it closer to your head creates more heat. The more heat, the faster it will process, which means anything closer to your head is going to process faster than what's on the end of your hair. Another thing that I like to do is to not do the ends first because that means it's setting on there longer and especially if they're damaged, I'll do those closer to being last and you can always just cut or trim the tips off of them um, if need be. Um, but again, in my case, most of my color is at the top anyway, so most of my processing needs to be done at the roots. You do what's best for you, this is what I need to do for me. But if you do have more color towards the bottom, then by all means, do the bottom first and your roots last. It's up to you. You can also use a purple shampoo when you're doing your mixture to tone your hair. If your hair is a little bit darker or it has more color, that's an option. Really any shampoo will work. Um, purple shampoo is definitely an option. And the most places that people tend to miss that I do make sure to focus on when I'm putting this stuff in my hair is the crown of your head or the back right here. You want that part, make sure that it's covered all underneath because that is a main part that people see. And then another thing, area I feel like tends to get missed a lot is make sure you get all the edges and behind your ears really, really well because I know I've missed that spot before. So, um, and it can be hard to reach sometimes. So just make sure that that is also covered as well. You really want to saturate the hair really well um, and if you need to make more, which I just had to make another bowl because I didn't have enough to do the bottom, um, go ahead and just make sure you have enough to get it well coated. So you don't want to have to do it again. I did get everything on my head. I did use two whole bowls. It does burn like regular bleach when you get it on your skin. My scalp feels okay, but my ears are burning. So what I'm gonna do now is put a bag on my head or a shower cap, whatever you have. Logo facing out because it will leave the logo mark on your head. 
that happened. <laughs> uh, but to me, tradition says I need to wear a bag because that's what I do in all my videos. So the heat will help this process for about 30 minutes. Um, of course, now this is where, again, depending on the strength and integrity of your own hair, you can leave it for up to 45 minutes. If your hair is super healthy, you've never bleached it before, it's very strong, healthy hair, 45 minutes is okay. Definitely check it at the 30-minute mark to see how, how it's going. If it's damaged, check it at the 20-minute mark. 20-30 um, minutes general is the general rule, I would say. Um, but really it just depends how it's lifting for you and your own personal strength of your hair. So it's really, really driving it home. The strength and integrity of your own hair, the health of your own hair, um, will depend greatly on a lot of aspects in this whole process. So I'll be back with the final results in 30 minutes. Stay tuned. Ta-da! This is final result. So yes, I am officially blonde, kind of. Let's talk about a few more things before I end this video. So as I spoke about earlier, one of the most important steps to me that I think or consider the most important one is using a really good reparative deep conditioner mask or something afterwards, any type of bleach or chemical process. So for that, I had, I just happened to have this at home because I always try to stock up on them when I go to Sally's. Um, but I, this is what I used. I know it's backwards, but this is the Ion Repair Treatment Conditioner Deep Daily Conditioning Strengthens and Moisturizes Weak Damaged Hair, which we all know mine is highly damaged. If you didn't already see all those videos, definitely check them out either in the iCards or my hair playlist. You can see where I, I really messed up my hair previously. Um, but we're in a much better place. This is what I used. So with that being said, this is my result. I did expect some yellowing or some kind of unevenness because it was so dark at my root. Um, and all of the green did not come out. I don't know if you can see, but there is some spots that are more yellow or tinted green than others. And that's fine, it's, it's not the greatest right now. If I was trying to go straight blonde, then I would definitely do it again, but only do the roots, or even just use a straight up bleach, maybe like a 20 volume bleach mixture, and then just do the roots. However, I'm just coloring my hair again. I'm going pink, electric paradise to yellow next, which I'm super excited about. It's uh, everything I do, it's different colors that I've never done before. So I'm excited to try. These are UV colors, so it's gonna be really freaking awesome. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon. So definitely check me out. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, what are you doing with your life? Subscribe for more awesome videos. Like I said, this is my last video here in this place. We are literally moving in days. I'm so excited. Hi, Tammy, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, thank you guys. And if you want, you can, on a side note, you can tone this with a purple shampoo or a very heavily diluted purple, deep con uh, purple color like Girls Night from Arctic Fox, for example. So again, I'm not sponsored by anybody products that I use will be linked below in the description. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I am not a professional, but I do like to answer your questions the best of my abilities and help you out the best that I can. Another place that you can contact me would be on Snapchat. You can add me here on Snapchat. I will add you back and then we can communicate. Um, so your, our conversation is a little bit more private. It's not on comment in the YouTube video. So if you have a specific question, about your hair or something like that, add me and we'll talk. All right, so I go, uh, I go, I hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you guys on my next one. Okay, bye.